Linem framework. Greetings, everyone. My name is Adderville, and welcome to my let's try of the demo of Leosif, Tale of the Cursed Chain, a 2D action platformer in development by Draco T. Yoshi. So here are two main protagonists, Tanbury and Draco, tied together by this mystical chain. Let the adventure begin. I'm playing this with a keyboard because... So top left is our health bar and number of coins. I want the mushroom. This is listed as being an original game. I'll let all of you decide just how original this is. And yes, this is classic sonic physics, so momentum is key. Whoa! Fine, we'll go underwater then. Now I'm being nommed. Whoa, you shot me right through the pipe. Whoa, it's boss time. Okay, that's instant dead. That's good to know. Credit where credit's due, this does have many different pathways. Ah, uh, we're down here again. I simply need to figure out how to get up there, though. Draco. And yes, Draco has a Yoshi head. I guess the objective here is to simply survive. I don't know how to counterattack. attack 
Thanks for the piggyback ride, Drake. Oh, oh. Oh, I get it now. Draco's supposed to eat the enemies, then shoot fireballs. That's what I was missing. So that's what the upper left meter actually is. That also explains why only sometimes Draco could lift me up. I wish I had more direct control over Draco. What does this do? Nothing. So this leads back to the boss. She's supposed to be the main antagonist, by the way. See, that's how you're supposed to fight them. It's actually very straightforward. That was a lot shorter than I expected. Like, there are different pathways, so I should probably at least check out the uppermost one. Also, there's no way to exit out this menu, by the way. You're forced to close the game and restart it. Also, I wouldn't blame the physics engine. The physics are fine. It's more the level design. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, wait, wait, what's happening? I really want to check the upper route, but they're really hard to access. Shower of coins. Three fireballs then. Assuming I don't get killed, that means the boss battle will be really easy. You know what this really reminds me of, Jaden? The earlier era of Flash games. Ah, uh, the ground isn't exactly flat. I don't think the splines are set up correctly here. I think I know what they're trying to go for at this game, but it's really rough. Again, it's not the engine's fault, it's more the level design. And the fact the game doesn't really train you on how to use these moves. It just drops you into the first stage and says, have fun. And we're back here. Well, at least we have infinite fireballs. This does have potential. I won't discount that. Goodbye, boss. I wouldn't call this bad. Simply odd. I'm not going to discount and say it has no potential. But this is far from being done. It either feels like an early era Flash game, or it's in pre-alpha to alpha. Thankfully though, it didn't suffer as much as Chaotix does. Here, it gives much more priority to the active character. In any case, thank you for sending this game to me, developer. I wish the best of luck to you. Well then, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.